In mathematics, an algebraic number field F is a finite degree field extension of the field of rational numbers Q. Thus F is a field that contains Q and has finite dimension when considered as a vector space over Q. The study of algebraic number fields, and, more generally, of algebraic extensions of the field of rational numbers, is the central topic of algebraic number theory. Definition Prerequisites The notion of algebraic number field relies on the concept of a field. A field consists of a set of elements together with two operations, namely addition and multiplication, and some distributivity assumptions. A prominent example of a field is the field of rational numbers, commonly denoted Q, together with its usual operations of addition etc. Another notion needed to define algebraic number fields is vector spaces. To the extent needed here, vector spaces can be thought of as consisting of sequences whose entries are elements of a fixed field such as the field Q. Any two such sequences can be added by adding the entries one per one. Furthermore, any sequence can be multiplied by a single element C of the fixed field. Vector spaces are allowed to be infinite dimensional, that is to say that the sequences constituting the vector spaces are of infinite length. If, however, the vector space consists of finite sequences, the vector space is said to be of finite dimension. Definition An algebraic number field is a finite degree field extension of the field of rational numbers. Here its dimension as a vector space over Q is simply called its degree. Examples The smallest and most basic number field is the field Q of rational numbers. Many properties of general number fields, such as unique factorization, are modeled after the properties of Q. The Gaussian rationals, denoted Q, form the first non-trivial example of a number field. Its elements are expressions of the form, a plus by where both are and be are rational numbers and I is the imaginary unit. Such expressions may be added, subtracted, and multiplied according to the usual rules of arithmetic and then simplified using the identity I2 equals minus 1. Explicitly, plus equals plus I equals plus I. Non-zero Gaussian rational numbers are invertible, which can be seen from the identity it follows that the Gaussian rationals form a number field which is two-dimensional as a vector space over Q. More generally, for any square free integer d, the quadratic field. Q is a number field obtained by adjoining the square root of d to the field of rational numbers. Arithmetic operations in this field have defined in analogy with the case of Gaussian rational numbers, d equals minus 1. Cyclotomic field, q, zeta n equals exp is a number field obtained from q by adjoining a primitive nth root of unity zeta n. This field contains all complex nth roots of unity and its dimension over q is equal to phi, where phi is the euler toshent function. The real numbers, R, and the complex numbers, C, are fields which have infinite dimension as Q vector spaces, hence, they are not number fields. This follows from the uncountability of R and C as sets, whereas every number field is necessarily countable. The set Q2 of ordered pairs of rational numbers with the entry-wise addition and multiplication is a two-dimensional commutative algebra over Q. However, it is not a field since it has zero divisors. Equals equals algebraicity and ring of integers. Generally, in abstract algebra, a field extension f e is algebraic if every element f of the bigger field f is the zero of a polynomial with coefficients e 0, m and e. p equals e m f m plus m minus 1 f m minus 1 plus plus e 1 f plus e 0 equals 0. It is a fact that every field extension of finite degree is algebraic because of the finite degree. In particular this applies to algebraic number fields. So any element f of an algebraic number field f can be written as a zero of a polynomial with rational coefficients. Therefore, elements of f are also referred to as algebraic numbers. 
Given a polynomial p such that p equals 0, it can be arranged such that the leading coefficient m is 1, by dividing all coefficients by it, if necessary. A polynomial with this property is known as a monic polynomial. In general, it will have rational coefficients. If, however, its coefficients are actually all integers, f is called an algebraic integer. Any integer z, z is an algebraic integer, as it is the zero of the linear monic polynomial, p equals t minus z. It can be shown that any algebraic integer that is also a rational number must actually be an integer, hence the name of algebraic integer. Again using abstract algebra, specifically the notion of a finitely generated module, it can be shown that the sum and the product of any two algebraic integers is still an algebraic integer. It follows that the algebraic integers in F form a ring denoted of called the ring of integers of F. It is a subring of F. A field contains no zero divisors and this property is inherited by any subring. Therefore, the ring of integers of f is an integral domain. The field f is the field of fractions of the integral domain of. This way one can get back and forth between the algebraic number field f and its ring of integers of. Rings of algebraic integers have three distinctive properties. Firstly, of is an integral domain that is integrally closed in its field of fractions f. Secondly, of is an Euthyrian ring. Finally, every non-zero prime ideal of of is maximal or, equivalently, the Krull dimension of this ring is 1. An abstract commutative ring with these three properties is called the Dedekind ring, in honor of Richard Dedekind, who undertook a deep study of rings of algebraic integers. Unique factorization and class number for general Dedekind rings, in particular rings of integers. There is a unique factorization of ideals into a product of prime ideals. For example, the ideal in z square root minus 5 factors into prime ideals as equals. However, unlike z is the ring of integers of q. The ring of integers of a proper extension of q need not admit unique factorization of numbers into a product of prime numbers or, more precisely, prime elements. This happens already for quadratic integers, for example in OQE equals z square root minus 5, the uniqueness of the factorization fails. 6 equals 2 3 equals. Using the norm it can be shown that these two factorization are actually an equivalent in the sense that the factors do not just differ by a unit in OQ. Euclidean domains are unique factorization domains, for example z i, the ring of Gaussian integers, and z omega, the ring of Eisenstein integers where omega is a third root of unity, have this property. Zeta functions, L functions and class number formula The failure of unique factorization is measured by the class number, commonly denoted H, the cardinality of the so-called ideal class group. This group is always finite. The ring of integers of possesses unique factorization if and only if it is a principal ring or, equivalently, if f has class number 1. Given a number field, the class number is often difficult to compute. The class number problem, going back to Gauss, is concerned with the existence of imaginary quadratic number fields. D1, with prescribed class number. The class number formula relates H to other fundamental invariants of F. It involves the Dedekind zeta function zeta F, a function in a complex variable S, defined by number of elements in the residue field. The infinite product converges only for re greater than 1. In general analytic continuation and the functional equation for the zeta function are needed to define the function for all s. The Dedekind zeta function generalizes the Riemann zeta function in that zeta qe equals zeta. The class number formula states that zeta f has a simple pole at s equals 1 and at this point the residue is given by here r1 and r2 classically denote the number of real embeddings and pairs of complex embeddings of f, respectively. Moreover, reg is the regulator of f, w the number of roots of unity in f and d is the discriminant of f. Dirichlet L functions L are a more refined variant of zeta. 
Both types of functions encode the arithmetic behavior of Q and F, respectively. For example, Dirichlet's theorem asserts that in any arithmetic progression A, A plus M, A plus 2 meters, with coprimer and M, there are infinitely many prime numbers. This theorem is implied by the fact that the Dirichlet L function is non-zero at S equals 1. Using much more advanced techniques including algebraic K-theory and Tamagawa measures, modern number theory deals with the description, if largely conjectural, of values of more general L functions. Bases for number fields Integral basis An integral basis for a number field f of degree n is a set b equals b1, bn, of n algebraic integers in f such that every element of the ring of integers of f can be written uniquely as a z-linear combination of elements of b, that is, for any x in of we have x equals m1 b1 plus, plus mn bn, where the me are integers. It is then also the case that any element of F can be written uniquely as M1 B1 plus, plus Mn Bn, where now the mere rational numbers. The algebraic integers of F are then precisely those elements of F where the me are all integers. Working locally and using tools such as the Frobenius map, it is always possible to explicitly compute such a basis and it is now standard for computer algebra systems to have built-in programs to do this. Power basis let f be a number field of degree n. Among all possible bases of f, there are particular ones known as power bases, that are bases of the form bx equals 1, x, x2, xn minus 1, for some element x f. By the primitive element theorem, there exists such an x, called a primitive element, if x can be chosen in of and such that bx is a basis of of as a free z module, then bx is called a power integral basis, and the field f is called a monogenic field. An example of a number field that is not monogenic was first given by Dedekind. His example is the field obtained by adjoining a root of the polynomial x3 minus x2 minus 2x minus 8. Regular representation, trace and determinant. Using the multiplication in F, the elements of the field F may be represented by n by n matrices A equals A equals 1 I, J n, by requiring here E1. N is a fixed basis for E F, viewed as a Q vector space. The rational numbers A, I, J are uniquely determined by X and the choice of a basis since any element of F can be uniquely represented as a linear combination of the basis elements. This way of associating a matrix to any element of the field F is called the regular representation. The square matrix A represents the effect of multiplication by X in the given basis. It follows that if the element y of f is represented by a matrix B, then the product x y is represented by the matrix product bar. Invariance of matrices, such as the trace, determinant, and characteristic polynomial, depend solely on the field element x and not on the basis. In particular, the trace of the matrix A is called the trace of the field element X and denoted TR, and the determinant is called the norm of X and denoted N. By definition, standard properties of traces and determinants of matrices carry over to TR and N. TR is a linear function of X, as expressed by TR equals TR plus TR, TR equals lambda TR, and the norm is a multiplicative homogeneous function of degree N, N equals NN, N equals lambda NN. Here lambda is a rational number, and X, Y are any two elements of F. The trace form derives as a bilinear form defined by means of the trace, as TR. The integral trace form, an integer-valued symmetric matrix is defined as Tij equals Tr, where B1, Bn is an integral basis for F. The discriminant of F is defined as det. It is an integer, and is an invariant property of the field F, not depending on the choice of integral basis. The matrix associated to an element X of F can also be used to give other, equivalent descriptions of algebraic integers. An element x of f is an algebraic integer if and only if the characteristic polynomial power of the matrix A associated to x is a monic polynomial with integer coefficients. 
Suppose that the matrix A that represents an element X has integer entries in some basis E, by the Cayley-Hamilton theorem, par equals zero, and it follows that par equals zero, so that X is an algebraic integer. Conversely, if X is an element of F which is a root of a monic polynomial with integer coefficients then the same property holds for the corresponding matrix A. In this case it can be proven that A is an integer matrix in a suitable basis of F. Note that the property of being an algebraic integer is defined in a way that is independent of a choice of a basis in F. Example, consider f equals q, where x satisfies x3 minus 11 by 2 plus x plus 1 equals 0. Then an integral basis is 1 by 1 half, and the corresponding integral trace form is the 3. In the upper left-hand corner of this matrix is the trace of the matrix of the map defined by the first basis element in the regular representation of f on f. This basis element induces the identity map on the three-dimensional vector space. The trace of the matrix of the identity map on a three-dimensional vector space is 3. The determinant of this is 1304 equals 23163, the field discriminant, in comparison the root discriminant, or discriminant of the polynomial, is 5216 equals 25163.